Hi guys, welcome to another reaction video and today we're gonna be watching together Slipknot The Dying Song that was recently released and I have to, set, to tell you right from the beginning I am not very into Slipknot I've never been, it was never a band that I kind of fall in love with I think from the beginning of my metalhead journey or so I was really into old school classic kind of heavy metal and back then I don't think I was ready for a Slipknot type of music to be honest so I never really got into it and then after a while when I started a, um, I, I was playing in a thrash metal band I remember there were a couple of people in the band who were like super Slipknot fans and they even made me learn a couple of the songs so I, I there are some songs that I really enjoy and I think one album that I actually listened to, but that was it. And I never really returned to Slipknot and tried to like it in any way. So I feel like watching new stuff like this and reacting and actually having right now, we are on Twitch, having so many Slipknot fans watching can be very inspiring for me to actually give this band another try and listen to it with like new ears, fresh ears. And of course, a totally different mind because, I mean, after so many years of listening to metal, I, I feel like my my taste just grew and changed and evolved and is much more expensive now, so to speak. Anyhow, let's give this a try. We're going to be watching The Dying Song and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. All right, you guys are going to make me become a Slipknot fan. Is that it? Let's go. Put your hands into the water, let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now, let them sing till you die. Die! Damn, this vocalist is no words. Wow. 
Wow. That's a pretty ugly mask, yo. <laughs> I like this sparkly one, though. Shit, this drummer is surreal, yo. It's amazing. Unbelievable. Whoa. I want this mask. Can I have that one? Wow, guys. I mean... Kari Taylor. Holy shit. The man is a beast. Amazing, amazing screams and the clean vocals. This is something that always surprises me. I love it. <laughs> I wish everybody had sparkly masks though. Wow. Thank you so much for the suggestion. That was the dying song by Slipknot. Chat, let's have a talk. Welcome back to the screen. Whoa. That was amazing. That was really strong, impactful, and holy shit. Very exciting to see that live. Especially on a, on a, in a concert, I can see the mosh pit like opening up, hell starting. The masks change. How is it about the masks with Slipknot? Do they change masks every album? How does it go? Because I remember the tracksuits and different masks and like some pointy nose and stuff like that. They change every album. Okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah, I think the the creepy the the both I think both masks were pretty masks were really creepy. Um, I think the percussionist, which has a, a zipper here, I think, and Corey Taylor's mask also very kind of weird and disturbing. But the sparkly mask was my favorite. <laughs> what can I say? Have you guys seen my phone? Yo. If, if this is like under the sun, you guys would see how, how it freaking sparkles. I love it. But that was an amazing change of, of faces. I think this is really something really cool to do. Like uh, to change masks and stuff. And, and of course the whole visual of created every album is something something very nice in aesthetic and very kind of slipknot thing that's awesome <laughs> the mask is creepy as hell in the clip i think so too um i can understand why people like him it's just not for me <laughs> sounds all the same to me says lucky i mean as i told you guys i don't know a lot of slipknot but i can tell like when i hear a slipknot kind of trademark riff i or, or, or vibe or part I, I really know okay that's Slipknot and I think this is something really cool to have in a band be, be very identifiable for having this specific vibe or kind of riff and I think it's of course it's it's a matter of, of taste at the end of the day but it's something that I could definitely get in into if I would especially play I feel like if I learn songs I can definitely feel even more because I used to like a lot the ones I, I know and used to, to play and yeah, maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. I don't know. Um, if that doesn't get you into Slipknot, nothing will. Okay, let me see what was the riff that I, I really I really loved here. And of course... This is really... Maybe I should put the video back. Like having a chorus that is in clean tone, this is very Slipknot as well. I really like it though. Love this. That was really nice as well. Oh, that was a creepy mask. Well, amazing riffs as well. This guitarist is so real as well. Holy shit. 
Okay, let me get back to you, chat. How did you like it? Any Slipknot fans over here in chat? I really enjoyed it. I think it was um, very Slipknotish <laughs> to me. <laughs> to hear but then again I, I think it's something that I need to listen more and maybe even learn a couple of songs to get more into it I feel like but it was really really hardcore crazy heavy song I, I feel like it, this in a in a concert the mosh pit will be deadly <laughs> amazing stuff so that was it guys, thank you so much for watching another reaction video, I hope you enjoy, let us know in the comment section what you want to see next, any suggestions to improve the sort of video here in the channel. So thank you once more, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, do the things. <laughs> Talk to you guys later, bye! <laughs>